How's everybody doing today? Pete here at Spawn Fly Fish. And if you could do us a favor and go ahead and hit like and subscribe, and we will get into this fly. So today I want to tie a high class version of the stimulator. What a great fly. A uh, multi-purpose fly catches multi multiple species and floats all day. Just a great looking dry fly. So in the hook, we've got the core 1760 and this is a size 10 and for the thread here I've got some uni 6 aught and this is the color camel so let's get our thread on there a little bit cut that tag end and we will be ready for business first thing I want to do is continue this thread all the way back and give myself just this little indicator of where I want my next stage to be so I'm going to go to right there and what I'm looking at here is uh, that little barb on the bottom. I'm going to line that thread up so that as I add this tail in, when I start wrapping down, I'll know exactly how far I, I need to go to cover where I want that tail to be. And so for the tail, we've got some natural white tail deer. and. You can see this could be stacked just a little better. So let's see if we can get that to look a little nicer real quickly here. I try to I try to be slick and pre-stack it on you, but you know how that goes. Some things don't don't always work out the way you expect them to. So let's go with this. We got one stray hair here. And once we get rid of that, we'll be in business. Alright. So what I'm looking for for this tail here is to stick out roughly the same distance as what the gap is in the hook maybe slightly longer so if you want to look at it another way we're going right about one third of the total hook length for our tail to stick out there and all i'm going to do is transfer that to my off hand and make a good pinch i'm going to get some wraps here going some gentle wraps and then as i come back i'm going to start really cranking down a little bit more on each wrap and what this is going to do is allow me to let go for a second and then continue down and really make sure that I'm getting that hair to stay on the top portion of that hook shank. We just got a couple more thread wraps. All I'm doing now is checking the bottom to make sure where we put that guide thread and make sure it all lines up. And if it does, let's continue wrapping forward and these stray hairs like right here. Go ahead and get those out of the way. Don't let them frustrate you. We will be covering all this up. And then as far as this remaining hair, I'm going to cut it so that as I finish tying the rest of these butts down, I'm, I'm going to leave myself enough room for that thorax, which is going to be roughly the front third of this fly. And then I give myself a little bit of a taper here with an even underbody so that as we lay our body down on that material, it's going to look nice and even. If anything, you should taper so that the larger end is right here inside what will be our future thorax. And from here, just simply tie the rest of those, those fibers down or those hairs like so. All right. And if that looks a little unruly right now, it's okay. Once we pop that out of the vise, we can groom it, make it look perfect and all that good stuff. All right. So for the body today, we're going to use some peccary. And for this hair, I have already split it, which means up here at the tip where the tassel look is, that's where I peeled both pieces of the same hair. And you're left with two sides, so you can get two flies out of one piece of peccary. And I'm just going to tie this in so that the good side, which is the heavily marked side is going to be facing the hook shank for now so that when we begin our wraps that will be exposed to our eyes and get it all the way back to where those last thread wraps were and then we'll come forward all the way now at this point I'm going to add 
a rib. Since we're going in what is considered the naked stimulator style, meaning no hackle for the body, I am going to include an extra small piece of gold ultra wire. And I'm gonna tie that in. I'll try to turn this so you can see. But I'm gonna tie that in so that it sits right next to the peccary hair. And get that started like so. And keep it as snug to that hair as I can. And again, all this is in the, in the name of keeping an even underbody. And it looks great right there. All right, and I hope you guys like these peccary flies. Um, I, I think this will be the last one for a while, so if you don't like them, you won't have to put up with it for too much longer. But it is a really unique um, material, very fun to, to work with, and to me, it, it just I love the effect it gives a, a fly body. All right, so there we are. Everything's set to tie our body now. So what I'm gonna do is first, as you can see, I'm gonna point out something here. When I take this first wrap of peccary, I want it to go behind this wire, and so that's why I've got it tied in the way we did, and then the second wrap will move that wire back and will be in front of it. So for now, let's just get this started right here, see how clean we can make that, and I'll show you on the top. So right now that wire sits in front of that first wrap, and now, we're going to put it like so, and it will be sandwiched in between those two wraps. And again, the reason we do this is so that as we begin to wrap the rest of this body, which we're going to use touching wraps for this, but as we wrap this up and we begin that wire, it doesn't have to search for its home. It's already got it. It's just going to follow along with the rest of the, the wraps that we've already laid in there. So take your time, touching wraps, no overlaps but we're also trying to avoid big gaps between these wraps. because This is, again, an extra small wire, so go ahead and, and butt those wraps right up to one another, and then I'm gonna check my work on your side, make sure everything still looks good. And where the dark portions of the, the hair are, it's gonna be a little tricky sometimes to find where the gap is, if you will, between those two wraps, but again, Patience, that's all you need. Maybe a magnifying glass. All right, so I'm gonna leave myself plenty of room here for that, that thorax, but I also wanna make sure that I've wrapped up enough of this hair so that when we start the thorax, there's no gap in between the thorax and the body or abdomen, like so, and we can cut this tag portion. All right, so now let's get at this rib. Pull it back in. And again, patience and make sure you're getting this guy right in between each space between the wraps of peccary. And you can jiggle it just a touch to make sure it's getting in between those. And it'll just sit nice and look really pretty. And do the fish care. Hmm. Maybe not. Does it catch fish? Oh baby. So maybe they do care. All right, and this is absolutely one of those flies where you should you know, make sure you take your time and, and get the techniques down. But once you do, these translate into many other materials. And that's what we're, we're really doing when we're tying flies is we're building an arsenal of techniques that we can use. And then from there, just sub in the material and you know you, you can learn a handful of techniques to tie a hundred different flies there we go securely finished tying that off and as you can see that gold is just going to give us a little bit of uh, separation again in those peccary wraps but it also just looks nice and and as a body it's going to give a little bling so now i'm going to come back so you see I'm not gonna utilize all this uh, that we've created in the front, but this is where I would like to start my wing. And so for the wing, I do have some elk hair, bleached elk hair, and I've got it in the stacker. 
and I'll show you here. So we'll try to get those ends nice and even. And what we're going to do is look for a placement that brings these elk hairs almost to the end of that tail, just about like so. And let me re-pinch that, adjust, and now I'll slide this into my offhand and that pinch is going nowhere. So loose wrap and then pull up, loose wrap, pull up, and now I'll just continue tying down until I have roughly nine or ten very solid wraps. Once I let that go, that wing's going nowhere. If you have some stray fibers, by all means, pop them out of there. We are going for a nice looking fly. And I'll check my side. Make sure you don't have any hair creeping too far down the sides. If you do, that's, that's why we have scissors. All right, so at this point, all I want to do is clean out these butts as much as I can. So to try to avoid cutting any of the useful hairs. And there we go. I'll trim that up just a touch more because I really want to crank these elk hair butts down and leave myself a nice platform for the rest of this fly. So at this point, continue forward and get all those butts wrapped down nicely. I'm going to come over with one more pass to make sure everything's tied down securely and as clean as I can get it. All right, let's come back up here to the elk wing and you can see this thing is it's going to have plenty of hair, plenty of flotation. You're not going to have to worry about any of that, especially with that wire on there. People tend to get leery of a, a wire on a dry fly, but I can tell you it, it is effective. So for our hackle now, I've got a brown saddle hackle feather. So there is full, and down here you can see I've removed the fibers from what are, would be the right side if you were looking at it uh, from your angle. And the reason being, I want to tie this in and wrap very close touching wraps. And so I'll just trim out a little bit there. You can see it looks like a mini comb. And that's going to give the thread something to grab onto as I tie this in. And get it all the way back to our previous thread wrap there. And then we can simply trim this butt end out. And we are ready for our last element before we wrap that hackle. And for the last element, I've got some dubbing. And this is Spawn Semi-Seal in UV Steelhead Torch. And orange is the common color, a traditional color for this uh, thorax. And you have to keep in mind we have the October caddis hatch coming up and a, a still quite a bit of good dry fly fishing and one thing that that you want to keep in mind is you know go ahead and adjust a little bit if you know they're going to be a lot of um, caddis on the water with that orangish look to them on the body why, why not give it to them now in this thorax too of a stimulator so that if you are fishing even even if you're using it as just a general searching dry it can it can make a big difference to add that little bit of trigger all right now some of these fibers are a little unruly and you could definitely use some super fine dub or some type of yarn even however we're a little partial to this spawn simi so i use it every chance i get all right i've got a couple stray fibers here that i think are going to be fine so now let's find the uh, hackle that we tied in. And this is where all the fun happens. All right, so now because I've removed those fibers, I'm able to watch this a little bit closer. I don't have to worry about any of these fibers getting trapped from the next wrap of, of the hackle. All I really want to do is just continue making it these wraps as close to one another as I can and we will climb up this entire thorax section and don't be afraid to wiggle that quill through that dubbing a little bit and make sure you are really seeding it in there and then you're gonna get you know a couple more fish out of your fly before it, it wants to fall apart on you 
and a couple more wraps here and we'll be ready to rock. I think this is going to be it right there. So I'm just going to hold that straight up and get that thread to go right behind and come straight down. I've not l let go of that feather yet for a reason. And now the second wrap and I will go ahead and let go. Now I'm going to pull down, get another two wraps behind that feather, pull the whole thing back and move my thread in front of the feather. Pull those fibers back each wrap and it will make the trimming part of this much easier for you. All right, so now we've got a clean tie off. Get that scissor in there and there we go. One fiber, not bad. I can live with that. All right, so now, just to make things a little easier on myself, I'll flip this over since the 1760 does have a down eye, and I will do this whip finish upside down, so to speak. And I can already see one fiber trying to get into the, into the mix there. So before I do that second whip finish, I'm just gonna go ahead and get in there with my scissors and very carefully trim that guy out. Now we're back in business, flip her back over. And one more time, everybody's favorite thing in the world, a whip finish again. Yeah, like so. Snug that guy up and trim out your thread. And now at this point, I'm just gonna use my scissors. Remember we brushed all those hackle fibers back in order to complete our head. So don't forget to brush them forward again and really you'll get to see the buoyancy effect here. And then since I wrapped everything toward you, I'm going to run my scissors through the fiber again toward me. And that should release any of the trapped fibers. And just a couple of trimming and perfect. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this fly. I think if you tied up a couple and fished them, you would be as well. Just gives the fish something really unique to look at and I'm a big fan of offering them something that everybody else might not be throwing, you know, that day or in general even, especially when you're fishing on water that gets a lot of pressure. That can make the difference between, you know, a fishless day and, and catching a few. So there we have it, the high class stimmy. And again, this is the naked version of a stimulator, meaning no hackle in the body. But as you can see, we do have tons of segmentation, a little bit of bling coming from that wire. Otherwise, this is a very natural looking bug with a ton of natural materials that will get eaten. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Please tie it up and, and let us see what you're getting into and what you're tying. If you like this video, please again remember to hit like and subscribe and we will see you on the water.